Good evening from Project Cirrus. It's a little after 8 p.m. on Friday evening here in London, Ontario. Right now, the final preparations for a dawn flight should be taking place. But sadly, we've just had some news about the weather. Here's Fraser to explain what's happening. It's now Friday evening. Um, we've had a good day in terms of prepping all of the, uh, the balloon in the basket to the launch and exits. Uh, unfortunately, having just met with the team uh, who are obviously going to be flying, uh, we've had to call it. Um, the winds have picked up. Um, the cloud is still uh, pretty much 95 to 100 percent. Um, so we have no chance for launch and we have two storm systems which are moving in. The challenges that we're facing with weather for the next few days, like I was mentioning yesterday, we need the perfect wind conditions um, right from surface all the way up to altitude and we're just not getting that. That's just not developing. There's um, a few different storm weather systems moving across the, the Great Lakes and where we're located here in this part of Ontario, we're surrounded by the Great Lakes. We've got Lake Geary, Ontario, Lake Huron and Georgian Bay and as the systems move across the lakes they pick up moisture and oftentimes that'll stall out a system right on top of us and on top of that we've had unseasonably a wet spring it's been uh, the water levels in all the lakes rivers um, are, are higher than and the normal grounds saturated um, and that doesn't help with the, the moisture just in the air um, the next couple days the forecast along with windy rainy is also fog and that's a result of just all the moisture in the air and on the ground developing makes the fog develop so after a huge amount of work over many months and even years um, we're going to have to call the final launch um, because the weather systems are not playing ball we've been dogged by hot weather um, in california and now we're dogged by extreme cold weather high winds and cloud um, in ontario and canada so thank you for everybody for supporting and following. We will um, look at what our options are in the future, um, but at the moment, um, Canada is not working for us um, down to the extreme weather, which is unseasonal. So understandably, Fraser's somewhat disappointment for him personally. This has been the culmination of two years planning and nine months hard training. And between the warmth of California and then the wet and wind of Canada, weather really has dealt him a harsh hand. Um, there is, however, one thing to be proud of, and as they say, every cloud has a silver lining. So there's little silver lining to the cloud. Um, at the end of the day, um, we have now had confirmed that we have set from the jump that we made uh, in California um, a new record for a high altitude wingsuit flight um, for UK. Um, and we've also set a FAI record for European or continental uh, wingsuit flight. So we come away with two quite serious records. Unfortunately, the world records were not possible this time. Um, but that is a, a little bit of an uplift considering the uh, current situation with the weather here in Canada. So that's two reasons why ultimately Project Cirrus has been successful. Clearly not the records Fraser was hoping for, but two reasons we should be really proud of what he's achieved and the work that he's put in. That's Project Cirrus, London, Ontario, wrapped.